nobody knows. It is said that 5% of your VL who have been treated, they develop PKDL. But why not all? Why only 5%? There are many uh, hypotheses, but exactly why some people, only 5 to 10% people develop PKDL, why not all they have been treated with for Kalajar? But right now we are getting again a very interesting phenomenon. We are getting some PKDL cases, say 2 to 3 percent, which have never been treated for Kalajar. Maybe they, are, they were asymptomatic during early days and now they are uh, showing the PKDL. Right now we are working on uh, the drugs which we have used like single dose ambisome, which is a drug of choice for program. There we have seen 3.3% of cases they develop PKDL in our pharmacovigilance studies. Because 300 cases we treated with single dose of ambisome and we found that 10 cases have developed PKDL. So that suggests that though ambisome is very powerful drug, but from there also we are getting PKDL. Say about few days back we had a, a we have done some work on a combination of drugs, ambisome and paramomycin, ambisome, yeah, DNDI. In that work means uh, we got 98% uh, your efficacy. Okay, our, now we are uh, following those patients up and see that how many have developed PKDL. That will tell us that really uh, means drugs creating problem for, uh, of PKDL or not. There are three arms. One is a uh, ambisome plus paramomycin, ambisome plus uh, miltofosin, and uh, paramomycin and miltofosin. So we want to know that whether combination can also generate PKDL or not. The thing is PKDL first we have to understand the biology of PKDL. PKDL is not a, a means a systemic disease. PKDL is a disease of uh, skin. So what happened is, if you take any drug, if it is a systemic, means like Kalajar, where it is found in a spleen, the drug can directly go to spleen. But coming to skin, it has to go through many system, then only it can come. So the, the drug dose and the, uh, means uh, the longevity of drug is much more. And uh, the thing is, the drug has to reach to a particular place. So much of the drug is already been utilized by different system. The quantum of the drug which reaches to his, uh, skin is much less. So that's why you require longer period of time and uh, uh, drug quantity will also be. In our institute, there is no problem, but definitely in uh, PSC or periphery, because they do not have a, a means a splenic aspirate means a specialist over there. If any person comes with having a PKDL means a suggestive of PKDL, we do the biopsy, then we see under the microscope presence of parasite, or if uh, the parasite we cannot see but we suspect then we do the PCR, polymerase chain reaction. It's a, it's a very special technique, very high power technique. So with the use of that, you can see that whether a band has come or not. If the band is there, that means patient is suffering from PKDL. PKDL cases have in, increased in our... Increased. Yeah, in our... Uh, our OPD or if I take you to my ward, if one Kalajar patient, there are three or four 
PKDL case. Earlier, there was a drug which may not be giving uh, given rise of PKDL. Now, so many people are using so many drugs. The second thing is, see, uh, PKDL cannot develop in six months. PKDL takes sometimes 10 years, sometimes two years, sometimes six months, because we are getting PKDL against every drug. And the second thing is, uh, rise of PKDL is earlier people were not so much aware of. So awareness has increased there. Coming to the uh, means hospital is much more.